Okay, the goal of this problem is to show that the given solutions are a solution of the system of differential equations written in matrix form. And it's very important to keep in mind here that the goal is not to solve the problem, but instead to actually show that the solutions that are given do the job that they're supposed to. So to do this, we will show each one at a time. And let's first start with x1. And as a practice, it's always best to start with the complicated side of a differential equation and go ahead and show that it equals the more simpler side. So it's always best to start with the matrix times the solution vector and show that it equals the derivative. So let's go ahead and do that for this problem. So for x1, I'm taking the matrix 6, 4, negative 8, negative 6, and I'm multiplying it times the solution vector, negative e to the 2t, and e to the 2t. Now remember, when you multiply matrices and vectors, it's kind of like a dot product. So we're first going to take the 6, 4, and multiply it vertically times the vector. So that's going to give us, and we'll write this out in expanded form right now. It's going to give us 6 times negative e to the 2t plus 4 times e to the 2t. And then for the next one, it's going to be the negative 8 times negative e to the 2t plus negative 6 times the e to the 2t. And if we simplify this down, we've got negative 6 of them plus 4 of them is going to make negative 2e to the 2t. And then here we have positive 8 of them minus 6 of them is going to make positive 2 of them. And then if we go ahead and look at our x1, which is up here, you will notice that its derivative, when I take it, is going to be equal to a negative 2 times e to the 2t, and then a 2 times e to the 2t by the chain rule. And that is equal to x1 prime. So we've shown that a times x1 is equal to x1 prime. Now we'll do the same exact thing for x2. We'll do this one in blue just to kind of have the contrasting colors here. So for x2, I'm going to multiply the matrix A, which again is 6 and 4 and negative 8, negative 6. That's now multiplied with a negative. I said, so let's go ahead and rewrite that. That is negative e to the negative 2t. And that is then 2 times e to the negative 2t as well. Just like before, we'll multiply it out. So we're going to have 6 times the negative e to the negative 2t. And then that's going to be plus 4 times the 2 e to the negative 2t. For the other one, we're going to have negative 8 times our negative e to the negative 2t plus negative 6 times the 2 e to the negative 2t. Once again, we will go through and multiply and combine like terms. So we have negative 6 of the first, and we have 8 of the second. That's going to make positive 2 of those. So that's 2 e to the negative 2t. For the bottom one, we're going to have positive 8 minus 12. Positive 8 minus 12 is negative 4. So we're going to have negative 4 e to the negative 2t. If we now look back at our original x2 and take its derivative by the chain rule, we're going to have our negative times negative 2 makes positive 2 e to the 2t. And then down there, we're going to have our positive 2 times the negative 2 by the chain rule, making negative 4 e to the negative 2t, which we recognize as x2 prime. So we've shown that a times x2 is equal to x2 prime. 
And again, the goal of this problem is to show that the two solution vectors do the job and work. It is not to go ahead and actually calculate them. That'll be coming up in upcoming sections.